All right. Hello, everyone. How are you today? It's Kay. So uh, today is the 22nd of June on Tuesday, and this is a recorded video. This is not the live stream because uh, I have to go out from house tonight because I've got a couple of meetings. So uh, this is a recorded video, but uh, I would like to talk about when not to take trace. And I find a right, great example uh, in terms of not to take trace uh, when it's trending. So let me talk about it by looking at two pairs today. So let me squeeze my face. And this video is recorded at uh, 4 16 a.m. in UTC time zone on the 22nd of June. So this is still uh, in uh, daytime. It's, it's like a lunchtime in Japan time. But uh, let me specifically t pick up two pairs and talk about when not to take trace. So before starting here, just usual as a quick disclaimer, this information is basically based on my own understanding experience. So when you take trace, please do with your risk management. And also, if you can follow the guidelines, guidelines and rules in my video session, that would be great also. So, uh, yeah. Uh, by the way, thank you for uh, for those who joined the yesterday's special live stream. Uh, I've got uh, many joiners uh, for uh, yesterday's live stream to celebrate over 30k subscribers. So, um, yeah, it was very fun for me. Uh, it lasted for four hours and a half uh, yesterday. So uh, it's saved in the archive so you can watch and enjoy the yesterday's live stream. And uh, I also took a trade, the, the, the real trade, on, uh, on uh, one of the pairs yesterday. So uh, you can also enjoy my real trade from yesterday's live stream. But uh, yeah, once again, thank you for joining. For those who joined yesterday's live stream. And that was very fun. And I will do this again when I reach to the next milestone. And also, thank you for joining for this video session as well. So let's get started. So today, I will pick up two pairs, which are pound AUD and AUD CAD. So let me look into the pound AUD first. And this is nicely uptrending. You can see that the, uh, the Kumo's up, Kumo Senko Span B's up, Senko Span A's up, and Kijun Sen up, Tenkan Sen up, and Chiko Span above the candles. So this is nicely uptrending on the daily chart. And also, uh, if you look at the one hour chart too, this is uptrending. The Kumo's up also. Kumo uh, Senko Span B flat, but Senko Span A is up. And Kijun Sen is up also. Now for the last for the last two hours it's been retracing, but uh, Chikou span above the candle still, and uh, this is up move. So I will expect the market goes up continuously this way. So this is what I what I uh, mean by confirmation for the trend. So usually I check daily chart or forward chart and see which one of these time frames are trending. And then I go down to one hour chart or 30 and see if a one hour chart or 30 minute chart also to be trending towards the same direction. And I think this is one of the great good examples for its uptrend because in one hour chart it's also up. So this is a good pair to look for the buy chance usually. But now I don't look for the buy chance and let me tell the reason why in a minute. But before that, let me go to the AUD CAD. So AUD CAD pair, uh, this is also downtrending because the Kumo is down. Senko span A is down and Kumo's get very thick Kumo right now. So this is a uh, stable downtrending in the long term. And also uh, uh, there is a, um, a Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen. Kijun Sen are pointing down and also Chikou span below the candles. So this is also a downtrend. And then I look at the one hour chart again also, and I see one hour chart is also downtrending. The Kumo's down, Senko Span A down, and Kijun Sen down too. Price below the Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen, Kumo, 
and close from below the candles. So on this pair too, in one hour chart it's downtrending, but I won't take a sell in this condition. So let me tell you the reason why I don't place any orders at the moment, and the reason is because the market is very close to resistance supports in higher time frame. So let me switch it to the daily chart on AUDCAD and the price is near the previous support of this week low, which is at 0 0.92882 level. So uh, yes, this is downtrending and the market could go down, but uh, because there is a support and also in this case the support is a uh, is a wick and this wick is very long and when you see the wick long like this then uh, you this means that there is a strong support in this area so the market can go down but uh, it might be supported and goes up and then I might be ending with a loss so in this case there is only a room to trade for maybe 15 or 16 pips all only and considering spread I think it's gonna be much less like a 12 or 13 or 14 pips of of a room to trade so in this example I will wait for the clear breakout of the support and then look for the sale chance so simply I stay away until the market breaks the support in this condition and this is for the case on AUD CAD and let me also come back to pound AUD and pound AUD also the same situation because the price is very close to the previous resistance level which is at 1.85276 level from the 22nd of October last year so you can see that the price is reaching to that resistance level and it may retrace backwards from here. So if you only see the picture, if you only see the chart like this way, then you might think, oh, this is uptrending, so, and one hour chart is also uptrending, so let's take a buy. But uh, for myself, I stop until the market breaks the resistance level. And this is very important because uh, when the market is closer to the previous resistance support level especially the daily chart or these higher time frames then the market can reverse or market can consolidate as you can see right now pound AUD has been retracing for the last two, week, two, week, uh, two hours and that's because there is a previous resistance level in this area however this is still uptrending because once again the Kumo's up Kijun sen up and Chikou span above the candles so I expect the market goes up but uh, even if the market goes up from here there is only let's say in this case there is only 20 27 28 pips of room to trade which is a bit too tight so in this case I prefer to wait for the breakout and then look for a buy chance afterwards Looking for the buy chance meaning that I go to lower time frames like 5 or 15 minute time frames and look for an entry edge there. And especially this is still an Asian session, uh, the market can reverse backwards uh, during the Asian session and from this reason also I would prefer to stay away. So uh, like I mentioned before uh, on the previous lives or videos, uh, not to take trades is also a part of a trader's job. When you think about it, uh, you might think that the, uh, the trader's job is to hold positions every day and also take trades every day. But uh, there are times when staying away from charts, markets are important. And that's exactly what's happening right now. And I thought this is a great example for waiting and that's why I decided to talk about this topic for today. So, so yeah, that's it for today's video. It's uh, relatively shorter, but uh, I hope you enjoyed today's video session. So, uh, 
yeah, it looks like, uh, oh yeah, and also there is, there is no news today. Uh, if you see the calendar, on Tuesday 22nd, there is no big news, no big events. So um, looks like the market is going to be quiet today. But uh, we might see some trends. While there is no news in the market, then of course you can take trades by technical analysis. Okay, so yeah, that's it for today's video session. If you liked it, please press the like button and please subscribe and click the bell button so that you get notified as I do these video session or live streams on my YouTube channel. All right, so I will see you on the next one. And until then, please stay healthy, stay safe, and stay gold. All right, bye for now. Matane. Thank you.